everyone i'm lisa with lisa plans uh welcome back to my channel uh today i got this package in the mail from amazon and um this is um a personal ring planner from a company called joyer j-o-y-i-r um they are i believe a chinese-based company from what i could tell um, kind of like Moterm, and this is a Moterm dupe. Um, it's kind of funny that Moterm did a dupe of Gilio, and now this company is doing a dupe of Moterm. <laughs> uh, but I bought this one because, one, it looked exactly like Moterm. Uh, I really like Moterm, uh, Pebble Leather, Personal Ring Planners. And also, I really wanted this color. So the color I got was supposed to be, um, is supposed to be a dark... Um, kind of like an army green color and I kind of wanted that color um, to match the colors of the Coco Daisy kit for November. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and open this guy up and we'll see what this thing is like. <laughs> I don't think anyone's done an unboxing yet of this planner so I searched YouTube. I couldn't find one for myself because I was looking for one and I didn't see one. So I thought well I'm going to go ahead and do one. I'm unboxing. I'm bagging, I guess. Um, yeah. So, and uh, in the shipment, I also received, um, oh, I forgot the name of it. The Newster. Is it Newster? The, they're just the little um, 2023 uh, month on two page calendar inserts. I ordered them before, but they only sent me 2024, and I really wanted just the last two months of the year. Um, so I really like these monthlies and let's see they did not I guess maybe they don't have any left <laughs> they keep sending me 2024 <laughs> which okay I guess that's fine but I'm uh, I wonder if there's a price difference though so maybe I should contact the company and say hey uh, you're sending me these but maybe I'll open that up a little bit later um, if you guys have never seen those inserts so this is the first time I've seen this. I have not opened up this bag, obviously, until now. So let's see what it looks like. It's a very heavy box. Um, and it's covered. And let's see what it says. It says on the front, Personal Rings Planner Full G. Not sure what that means. Full G. Maybe full green leather? I don't know. Rings Notebook Diary Journal. It's got some Chinese characters on there. Um, if I can remember my Japanese, this little guy means product. New? I think that means new. No, that doesn't mean new. Okay, yeah. You can't rely on my bad Japanese. <laughs> it's been too long. Um, okay, so Chinese. It's actually Chinese, but Japan uses a lot of their um, characters. So I had to learn some of them in order to survive when I lived there uh, so long ago. All right, um, here we go. So there is a plastic thing over the box. So it looks like there is a stringy thingy there. Ribbon, <laughs> not a string, a ribbon. So I guess that's how you open this box. Oops, I'm opening it up upside down. So here we go. <laughs> oh, I got my phone unboxing. Okay. <laughs> and it looks like it just comes in this. It's not like a bag like you get from Moterm. That weird uh, gray freaky little bag. Um, <laughs> and oh, it is heavy. This little guy's heavy. So, interesting. Here is the weird bag it comes out of, in of, I don't know. And, the heck did I order? <laughs> um, Alright, so this is it. You know what? This looks exactly like the Moterm green. This is not the color I was expecting. Um, I don't dislike it. But it looks exactly like the Moterm Pebbled Green. 
So that's interesting. So if you see this on, um, we could see all my cords here, can't you? <laughs> anyway, this, this is going to have to be in the video, I guess. Uh, so I guess if you order one of these Joyer, 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 um, off of Amazon, I will link it below. It's not going to be that color. <laughs> uh, it is actually a little bit darker on camera. It's like slightly lighter um, in person. So, but it is kind of picking up. You can see it in the light. Um, you can see. Yeah, it's definitely not as dark as the picture on the website, which is disappointing because that's kind of what I was hoping for. That's why I got it. But heck, let's go ahead and open her up. So it does, I guess, have two poppers, silver hardware. Um, it feels nice. So it does have a nice feel. And the pockets on the inside. The rings look like they're kind of, I don't know. They look tight, but they look kind of dirty. Huh, they look kind of messed up. Yeah, they look really, really, really dirty. I'm going to have to clean those. Uh, it does come with the fly leaf, and it looks like this thing's kind of bent. Huh, and these are the inserts it comes with. I guess there's some dot grid. Those aren't too, too bad. I wonder what the paper's like. Let's open it up. So the paper is, it's pretty thin paper, um, which is fine if you're in a ring bound planner. You can have thinner paper. It just gets really hard in discs. Yeah, this paper, not too shabby. I bet you it's probably not fountain pen friendly, but whatever. Um, hmm. I'm not a big fan of dot grid. Um, I'll use it when I kind of have a weird occasional yen for it, but um, and then it comes with these blank inserts, blank paper, and it looks like it comes with the Moterm inserts, which it's not really a Moterm insert. It's just an insert that I think is kind of popular, maybe, in off AliExpress. And with these types of planners, I also see other companies selling these. Um, yeah, I guess this is supposed to be a daily. It's got like the Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Yeah, so... Hmm. Um, I don't ever use the fly leaf, but this thing looks a little like it's seen better days. Let's open her up and look at this fly leaf. Um, I guess you have three pockets on here. And this penlet does not look like it was sewn in correctly. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe I wonder if these are. Um... No, they can't be because they would have different hardware. What my first thought was, I wonder if these are like Moterm um, rejects, like the, you know, like the not so good quality, <laughs> like ones they messed up basically and don't want to, but still, you know, want to sell and get rid of. Hmm. I wonder. Huh. Yeah, that's a weird flyleaf. Um, let's take out the ring protector. They they are snappy rings. They're tight. Um, so, but this is not going to come out unless I cut it and I do not want to cut it right now. So I guess I'm not going to take it out right now. It comes with the back pocket and in the back pocket, I guess it comes with this piece of cardboard, I guess to keep it, I don't know. You know, it does feel pretty thick. Um. And it's, it looks like the same pocket configuration as the Moterm. I mean, everything pretty much looks exactly the same, except this pen loop is up higher in the other um, Moterm I've got. I don't know if I have any Moterm rings in my house right now. Um, I returned my other ones, foolishly. Um, but it is what it is. But this pen loop is up higher. The Moterm um, Lux 2.0 is like in the middle, which I prefer the pen loop a little higher. Um, it is not elasticized. Elasticized. I can't say elasticized. 
No, it's not elasticized. Um, let's see if it'll, this is just a regular uh, acro ball fine point. Um, this does have a, a grip on it. Let's see if it'll fit. I'm sure it'll fit. Yeah. It's kind of hard to get in because of the rubber, but yeah, it fits. It's okay. Yeah. But it's not like, you know, those horrid Filofax ones <laughs> that you can only fit like, you know, a, a thin pencil in if you're lucky. Hmm. So on the other side, I guess we have the secretarial pocket and we have this comes down. So I guess that is it for this guy. Um, it looks okay. It feels okay. If I used it, I would probably want to clean these rings up um, before I put my inserts in. It just looks a little ugh, cloudy and weird and gross. So I don't think they're used. Um, hmm. Yeah, I don't know. The, but the rings look okay. Um, there was someone that said they had an issue with their rings. Gosh, I want to take this off, but uh, it was coming, pulling up from the leather, but this doesn't look like it is. So if you uh, go to the Amazon site and look at the reviews on this thing, uh, someone mentioned that the back plate, I guess, was coming off up from here, but looks like mine is okay. It looks okay. So, I don't know how happy I am with this. Um, I do like the zipper. I kind of like this little doodad on the zipper. Um, the little pull. Yeah, if you can see that close up. I kind of like that. Um, I do like that. This pen loop is a little, I wish it was elasticized. Um, even though I don't put large pens in my pen loop, like I can even use a five effects. All I do is put the Coco Daisy pen in there and it slides right in. Um, so I don't really care about that so much. And I really don't, I'm not, I could go either way on pen loops. I could not even use a pen loop. I'm okay with that too. But, um, it looks like it's got three pockets on this side. And I think Moterm might have two more. I wish I had a Moterm here to compare it to. You know what? I have a ch I actually have a firm pebble cherry red in my car. <laughs> Got from the post office the other day. Um, because I really think I was gonna go into personal rings. And now I still think I might go into personal rings, but I don't think it's gonna be this one. I don't know. I'm just like mm, kind of iffy, iffy, iffy meh on it. Let's do the smell test. Mm, it does smell. Well, it smells like a, um, a Moterm. <laughs> I wonder if it's the same company and they just put a different thing here. A different, it, it, you wouldn't think that they would do that though. Put it in a different box and I don't know. And put another company name on it. I don't know. What do you guys think? Um, I don't know. Um, but you could take these rings out and replace them. So... I don't know what I'm going to do with this thing. I don't know what I'm going to do with my planning life, actually. <laughs> um, I have several options I'm kicking around right now. Whichever one I land on, I want to just land on it and then that's it. Sell everything. We're done. And that's what I want to be in for a year. Um, I've said that in my last video. Maybe even the last couple videos. <laughs> um, yeah. So... That's the unboxing of the Joyer, and I don't know how Joyer joyful I am about it. Um, I'm really disappointed in the fact that it's not the color I wanted. If I knew it was going to be this color, it's the same color as the Moterm, I probably just would have got the Moterm. Um, yeah. Hmm. I'm going to have to think about this one. I'm not excited about this pen loop on the flyleaf. Of course, you know, I never use a flyleaf, but... That just looks weird. Um, yeah, I don't know. This might be going back. I don't know yet. We'll see. Put some inserts in here to clean up the rings. This is a little... I don't know. 
So anyway, that is the Joyer. Joyer from Amazon. Um, so my opinion overall, <coughs> excuse me, is that, um, proceed with caution. <laughs> if you're going to buy one of these, prepare to return it. If there's something wrong with it. Um, but as far as the stitching and everything goes, it looks okay. I mean, it's not bad. I have to look and see what the price point is on this to see. I think they're pretty comparable price points, too. Um, yeah, the stitching's okay. So, I give it like, um, I don't know, just an okay. Except for this pen loop. You can tell that's really wonky and the rings are kind of weird. So, I'm going to have to decide whether or not we're keeping this guy. I don't know. I'm not crazy about it. Um, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> so, I'm sure it just doesn't really snappy snap down. That one does, but this one doesn't. And they, I wonder, these aren't not, um, the snaps say THK maybe? So they're not like the quality snaps, I don't think. Hmm. Yep. I don't know. I'm not thrilled. I'm not, not thrilled. Not thrilled. So, oh, there's a piece of paper in here. What is it? Micro pack. Oh, I guess it's recyclable. So I guess this bag is probably recyclable, maybe? Hmm. Well, that's cool though. Um, yeah, we all need to be more eco-conscious, right? All right, so I got that. And then I am upset about my inserts only being 2024 when I ordered the 2023. So those might be going back. <laughs> I'm not just too happy with all this. I don't know. Um, I will have to say, though, I am happy with this. <laughs> Um, I don't know if I'm going to stay in here either, but this is my half letter. Um, I just did a flip of this. Um, I'm going to post that video. I probably post both of these videos tonight. Why not? Um, but I just took it out of the, um, Levenger cover I had on it. It was dark brown Levenger cover. I'll go ahead and post that video too. And I did an entire flip through of this. Um, I love just this. 11 discs. Uh, this is 11 disc cover and I'm really digging it. Um, and I went down to the 1.5 inch, uh, gold discs. I did have these giant bad boys on here. These are the, uh, Jane's Agenda two inch. They're supposed to be gold discs, but they don't look as gold as the Levenger discs. I don't know if you could see, maybe not. Yeah, you probably can't really tell. But in um, the light, these look darker. Um, I mean, they're beautiful. I'm not going to say they're not pretty. They're very pretty. Um, but yeah, they're just not this bright gold. I think Levenger just has really good metal colors. Um, but on the front cover, I just have this Plans with B um, freebie. Uh, coupled with the pumpkin with an alley clip. And I'm just kind of digging it. I don't know. I just kind of slapped it together. I'm like, huh, this is kind of cool. <laughs> hmm. So, yeah, I was trying to match this color with the, the planner. And I guess it'll still match. I mean, I don't have to be that matchy-matchy. But. Oh, it actually kind of matches exactly. <laughs> All right then. <laughs> um, so, but it, on the website, it did look a lot darker and richer, a richer color, I will have to say. So anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and actually in this video here, we're at 20 minutes. Um, I already did a flip through of this. I'm gonna post it and kind of loving this half letter, although I'm still feeling that it's really too big for my needs and I'm reconsidering everything. Um, I don't think I'm going to stay in half letter. 
can't say 100%, but it just seems like I don't need this space. I mean, I'm trying to, let's just say, be kinder to myself about how many to-dos I put on my daily because the bigger the page you have, guess what? <laughs> the more crap you're going to put on it to say, hey, do that tomorrow. Um, try to get that done. But there's nothing wrong with having intentions and being ambitious. I'm not saying that for sure, but I just want to be a lot more cognizant of what I put on my daily pages. So, yeah. But anyway, that is my video for tonight. And I'm actually going to... I don't know if I'm going to stay in this for November and just call it a day. And maybe set something else up for December. Um, I don't know what I'm going to do yet. Um, <laughs> freaking out. So, I'm not freaking out. But, maybe we'll freaking out. <laughs> but anyway, this is um, the state of my planning chaos right now. Um, I do hope to do more videos where I'm actually doing plan with me's. And just more, you know, normal flip throughs <laughs> instead of product um unboxings and things like that um yeah so that would be great if i could stay in one planner and do the plan with me's and and deco, deco flips you know um that would make me happy so anyway that is my video for tonight and i'm gonna post my flip through of this too so you might see two videos out tonight so and then i will come at you with another video if i decide to switch all this stuff around <laughs> and I'll do another flip through. We'll see. But anyway, everyone have a great weekend and I hope to see you in my next video. Bye.